last year, Colin Kaepernick decided to give $1 million to various organizations in dire need across America. So that's $100,000 for the span of 10 consecutive months. Today, I got the opportunity to speak with the only organization he's given to in Georgia, the home organization here at the Morning Kitchen in Atlanta. Thank you. I would say thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Two very simple words in an attempt to express the amount of gratitude this particular organization has for former 49ers quarterback turned activist Colin Kaepernick. Home, an acronym for helping oppressed mothers endure, was inspired by co-founder Carolyn Watson's mother, who was a victim of domestic abuse herself. And when she escaped, she took two little girls and two suitcases and moved away and she started life all over with absolutely nothing. So that particular thing stayed in my heart for many, many, many years. So as you can see, home started long time ago. So since that never went away, um, a few years ago, I was going through a situation on my job and wasn't feeling fulfilled and decided to leave that job. And when I prayed about it, home was the next thing that came to mind. Home has now been going on for three years and thanks to Kaepernick's $25,000 donation, not only can the organization pick up a new moving truck, but they also have no more financial worries for the rest of 2017. We have no idea how Colin Kaepernick found out about home. Him playing football wasn't supposed to be his legacy. His legacy is going to be what he's doing with his foundations as far as know your rights and things of that nature. That's what he's going to be known for, not as a great court. You know, he was a good quarterback. But however, that's not the, that's probably not where God would have him to be as far as his legacy. His legacy will be what he's doing as far as across the community and, and the love that he's doing in it. And I would personally say uh, thank you, Jim, because my father died when I was six years old as a result of police brutality. So his position that he took, um, taking me in a way of standing up for people like that. It's not what you do when you're on your knee or, you know, uh, kneeling down, sitting down or whatever. It's what you do when you get up. And to me, while he might have kneeled on the knee when he got up, his heart bowed down and put his money where his mouth was and made a difference in a lot of people's lives. So that's what I have to say about it. Now, of course, the following views just expressed by certain individuals affiliated with the organization, their opinions don't represent home as a whole. Now, anyone that wants to help the organization can visit home, the number two, heart.org. For Morningside Kitchen and for Rolling Out Magazine, I'm Rashad Milligan.